MSN Games also known as Zone.com, formerly known as The Village, Internet Gaming Zone, MSN Gaming Zone, and MSN Games by Zone.com is a casual gaming website, with single-player, multiplayer, PC download, and social casino video games. Games are available in free online, trial, and full-feature pay-to-play versions. MSN Games is a part of Microsoft Studios, associated with the MSN portal, and is owned by Microsoft, headquartered in Redmond, Washington. History The first version of the site, which was then called The Village, was founded by Kevin Binkley, Ted Griggs, and Hoon Im. In 1996, Steve Merck, a then employee of Microsoft, convinced Bill Gates and Steve Ballmer to acquire the small online game site, then owned by Electric Gravity. The site was rebranded to Internet Gaming Zone and launched in 1996. It started with a handful of card and board games like Hearts, Spades, Checkers, Backgammon, and Bridge. For the following five years, the Internet Gaming Zone would be renamed several times and would increase in popularity with the introduction of popular retail and MMORPG games, such as Ultracore, Age of Empires, Asheron's Call and Fighter Ace. Competitors The Zone's first competitors were AOL's Games.com, as well Mplayer.com and its successor GameSpy, Pogo.com and Sega's Heat.net. Formerly, the site competed with other similar free game sites, such as Yahoo Games and MSNGames.org. Topic: Volunteers <laughs> 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 MSN's competition with AOL Games resulted in the creation of a volunteer program for The Zone, which AOL also offered. The idea was to have volunteers moderating chat lobbies, hosting tourneys, offering tech support, and interacting with the gamers to collect general feedback. Volunteer moderators for The Zone were initially designated as members of the Zone Team or Z Team, with assorted tokens assigned to five different teams, the Gaming Team, Helproom Team, Plus, Tournament Hosting Team, Percent, Z Star Team, Asterisk, and Tech Support Team. Because of legal complexities when AOL was sued by their volunteers, and the volunteers won the case, MSN Games reformed their policy by contracting a third-party company to manage the program. In 2001, Participate Systems won the contract and would continue to lead the program until its official disbanding. During the volunteer program's conversion to its new management, all previous token designations were replaced with a single plus token and a new name, the Member Plus or M Plus program. Participate Systems was acquired by Outstart.com in November 2004. The Zone sanctioned a number of independent groups to operate tournaments on the Zone, subject to the groups retaining a token tournament director and obeying the Zone Code of Conduct. Groups operated games in a number of games, including Backgammon, Cribbage, Chess, Hearts, and others. Some of these groups, for example RTW Online's Thunder and Merfixit Online's Smackdown series of tournaments in the Age of Empires series of games, created an intense following, and the associated Intercini rivalries. A few, such as Gammon Zone and Warp Gammon, Backgammon, and Pegging Pals, Cribbage, even survived the demise of the Zone and migrated to other servers. Citing MSN's statement regarding the closure of CD-ROM games on the Zone on June 19, 2006, the Member Plus program was also disbanded at that time due to the removal of chat capabilities from game lobbies and the end of support for the Zone Friends client. Topic. Setbacks In 2000, the site started to be a target of continuous crack attacks. Crackers, script kiddies for the most part, targeted the Zone software. In 2004, the worst crack attack occurred through the use of social engineering, giving the intruders access to the administrator tools. The intruders used their newfound tools to ban players and other site volunteers. After the dot-com boom, websites claimed difficulties managing their finances. 
MSN Games changed its market strategy and left the retail market to focus solely on free and premium games, a decision that finally culminated in their decision to retire support for CD-ROM games and lobbies on June 19, 2006. Specialized programs, including the Fighter Ace and Allegiance teams disbanded during the Zone's transition to the Member Plus program, due primarily to the planned retirement of their associated games. Legacy Personalities such as Bill Gates and his friend, Warren Buffett, have played bridge on the zone. Gary Kasparov, chess champion, played in a chess game organized by Microsoft. World champion Alex Moiseev and Grand Master Tim Laverty also played checkers on zone. The Sheik of the United Arab Emirates invited a few backgammon players from the zone to play in his second annual Abu Dhabi Backgammon Championship. Many of the giants of backgammon, top 32 in the world, participated in zone tournaments, including Neil Kazaris, Johannes Leverman, Steve Sachs, Howard Ring, Paul Weaver, Kit Woolsey, and Bill Roberti. MSN Games is credited for assisting with the introduction of new games on Windows Live Messenger, formerly called MSN Messenger and the development of Xbox Live Arcade. Writer Dorothy Rosencrans wrote a book about her experiences at MSN Games and her encounter with Bill Gates. MSN Games is credited with renaming Diamond Mine to Bejeweled, which is one of the most popular casual games of all time. Members Plus originally utilized a Microsoft-authored program called Zone Commander to access lobbies directly, bypassing web pages. This was later replaced by Zone Orchestrator, a program written by two members plus which improved upon Zone Commander by adding chat monitoring facilities and an enhanced user interface. Some years later, Zone Commander was retired in favor of Zone Orchestrator, which became the official tool of choice and remained so until the lobbies closed on June 19, 2006. Controversy. MSN Games announced in early 2006 the retiring of support for all lobby-based CD-ROM games, chat lobbies, the ZoneFriends client and the Member Plus program, scheduled for June 19, 2006. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 as of June 19, 2006, we will be retiring our CD ROM matchmaking service, along with the original versions of several classic card and board games, classic backgammon, bridge, classic checkers, chess, cribbage, euchre, go, classic hearts, reversi, and spades. We'll be sad to see them go. These games are like old friends, they gave us our start, and helped us grow from an innovative little entertainment site to a truly stellar online gaming experience. But over the years, it's become more and more difficult to maintain the aging hardware and software that supports them. We held out absolutely as long as we could, but it was finally time to make that decision. In a series of public chats held with various administrators and developers of the zone, MSN outlined its plan to shift its gaming environment into Windows Live Messenger, a more frequently updated client than the outdated ZoneFriends Messenger used on the zone. However, due primarily to MSN's inability to provide a timeframe for the expected replacement of chat lobbies, tournaments, and its Member Plus volunteer moderator program, thousands of players appeared at each session to express their discontent, and began an online petition in an attempt to stop MSN's scheduled changes. As with previous changes, however, MSN has continued to stand firm in its commitment to the retirement of its services, citing outdated hardware and lack of economic viability for the old products. Although alternatives exist to the zone for CD-ROM gameplay, many Microsoft Game Studios embedded zone links and functionality into their games, including Angel Studios' Midtown Madness and Ensemble Studios' Age of Empires game series. Ensemble only began their switch to an in-game matchmaking system with the release of Age of Mythology. Games as recent as Flight Simulator 98 and Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds utilized the zone's lobby system for matchmaking. For many such games, no replacement service has been announced. The first game in the Flight Simulator series to use in-game matchmaking is Flight Simulator X, released early 2007, leaving a gap of several months without MSN-supported matchmaking services. <laughs> 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 
Topic See also Kasparov versus the world